Hello, Warfighters. War is hell. Welcome to another episode of me playing Free Man Guerrilla Warfare. Uh, the Snack Bar Mountaineers are on the warpath. Uh, what I'm going to try to do here, though, is I'm going to go through another battle. I'm trying to chase some of these guys uh, that are up here because even though they do outnumber me a little bit, uh, I feel like my guys... Yeah, see, here's a group of 15, but I don't want to get so close to that town. We've got somebody who's... Or a party of 33 coming after me here. I'll have to stay away from them. Uh, yeah, none of these guys are kind of ideal. But you can see they're coming after me. Try and go to this town here. Uh, anything worth getting, I guess, while I'm here. I'm going to pay for chemical waste extra. I don't have any myself that I can give to them. That's fine. I really don't care too much. It's just more being able to get through this town like this and not having those guys come after me so I'm gonna attack these guys here real quick uh, they'll outnumber me 22 to 15 but they're all looters we should be good okay if you didn't catch the last episode uh, which is actually the first episode you'll see here I'm kind of setting up uh, my units and I'm gonna have that group actually follow me these guys are gonna move here and there and then I'm gonna take up the middle here with the FCA infantry squad okay so I'm gonna follow where these guys go now here's the thing too like uh, this game by the way has like updated twice with some major updates since I played it so I'm gonna try and get this out here uh, get some videos out here of this just so I can try and get caught up here as quickly as I can okay anyway like I said I'm gonna catch the middle here Looks like we've got nothing but open area right in front of us. So this should be a good spot for us to hole up at here for a little bit. Wait for them to come to us. Uh, because we should be able to see them uh, pretty early on in their assault. We can kind of maneuver here based off of that. I mean, we're kind of out in the open too. I shouldn't say kind of. We are out in the open as well. But hopefully we'll be able to see these guys a little bit more before they see us we're gonna move up a little bit more maybe try and get into some of these trees right in front of us oh we've got a squad coming coming at us here and from the looks of it too we've got some off over to the right so we've got two squads that are nearby here uh let's see what my pistol and i are going to be able to do here against these guys uh, this is a bad position for us because they've got the trees they've got an elevation advantage here too Nice. All right, so I've got one guy. I've gotten a little bit better here with this pistol. But obviously super inaccurate. I think I might have hit that guy. I don't know. He's up there by the trees. Oh, we've got a third squad here. All right, 15 to 18 is the score right now. So we've taken out about four of them. Look at this guy just hopping over the rock as if it's nothing. Maybe I should move more to the right. Maybe I could try and flank these guys, but it's a lot of open area to have to run across. And I can imagine they'll target me since I'm up. I'm running. Ah, I've been hit once. Looks like it wasn't that bad of a hit, though. Still at 96 health. You'll actually regen a little bit over time, too. Okay, we outnumber them. There's a squad moving on the left here, too. So they're coming right for us. God dang it, I didn't mean to get up right there. Okay, so I'm going to send this squad that was following me a little bit ago. I'm going to have them move right to kind of counter the guys who are over there. The rest of us will care of anybody who's left. Yeah, there's one guy prone on that hill. Nice, that one got him. Might have been the last one off to the right, so we just got the guys who are in front of us. This range, that pistol's going to be really ineffective. Nice, I've got a squad ready to be upgraded here. Uh, so we'll kind of see what they advance to next. That guy. I lost one, dude. I actually, I actually have lost two out of this. My second squad. You can see down below the mercenary militia squad. 
Yeah, that guy's running off. I'm not going to worry too much about him. I'm going to let my guys try and take him out. But I thought there might be somebody who's still under that tree. So I'm going to move up here. Let's see if I can find anybody who might be in this area. Maybe get a better look, too, on the enemy who's probably over to the left. Yeah, I'm hearing gunfire off to the left. But everybody's off over there. Yeah, I don't think there is anybody underneath that tree that's still alive. Because I'd be taking fire right here. Move up and see. Oh, this guy's dead. Nobody around here. Okay. So we've cleared this area. I guess I kicked that guy over or something. Alright, so there goes my guys. They're continuing to move here. I'm going to go up this hill. Are they over there? They've got to be over there. Either way, we've got like two minutes until we'll be able to see where they're at because if we haven't taken them out before then it will highlight where the enemy is located nobody up here either actually this would have been like the best spot to hole up facing us okay so somebody just died so they are engaging them are they off to the south yes there's some dots right there on the map we'll send them directly to the enemy, they'll go a little bit off to the left. I don't know if I'll be able to get there in time. There's only one guy left, so I can imagine I won't get there. Okay, there's that second squad way off to the left. That's only got three of them. So what they're going to do is they'll kind of act as reserves here, I guess. We really got to move up on this one guy. But I really don't think that that's going to be be too big of an issue seriously that guy's not that guy's not down yet that honestly surprises me because they can see where they're shooting up at it's like right on that cliff the guy just stood up so he should be down here in just a little bit maybe there we go all right, only got three that time out of the full 22. The one plus side, I can imagine uh, with this here. Oh, I got a couple pistols. That might come in handy. I'll kind of show you why in just a second. Um, but having the pistol, oh, I got some prisoners too. This is one of the things that was actually added in the update when I was first playing this. See if I can persuade him to join. Nope. Nope. All right, I'm gonna imprison him. See, I didn't know, I guess I didn't read up too much on it. I thought if you could persuade, um, he was based off percentage, you know, but it was somewhat acceptable, like to try more than once, but there's different things that you could do to increase uh, their desire to join you, I guess is the best way to put it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go to this town yep the guys stopped following me which is sweet okay uh, now I'm gonna purchase some things while I'm here let's see if I can get um, some stuff sold because like one of the things I've got here are these iron chunks I got a lot of them so I'm just gonna go ahead and sell them because they're doing no good whatsoever so that'll get me some money. It's like 1204 as far as credits go. And I'm going to go to the weapon dealer. And here's what I'm hoping to do. Sell these four pistols that I have. Um, for sure these three because I got 2799 out of that. And then this KA5. I think I'll go and purchase that gun. I mean, you can see there's a few others that I can I could choose from. 
that one costs too much. So I'm just going to go with the KA5. Uh, so I only have to pay 491 credits to be able to acquire it. There's some more things that I could do too. Uh, I've got to get some ammo here. But I mean, there's more that I could do to drive the price down a little bit. I think I'm going to wait to get uh, optics for it. I only have to pay 659 with the ammo or 684 with all the ammo and getting a couple grenades. So I'm good with that. I still got some money left. I'm going to have to buy some other things here too in just a little bit. Like I'm running kind of low on food and stuff. Let's see this guy, maybe with some propaganda. See, this is where I, you know, I see this will and oh okay yeah never mind well try and remember that here for the future okay anyway so these guys i'm going to refill the squad it looks like they should be able to be upgraded here pretty soon this mercenary squad i'm going to make them a rifle squad then this fca infantry squad is going to become a grenadier team Sweet. Okay, we'll be able to take on a whole bunch of guys. All right, so we've kind of moved around on the map here. We see a group of 16 here that I think we're going to be able to take on. These guys are bandits, which I think are one level up from looters. So this might pose a little bit of a challenge, but what gets me most excited for this is that I've kind of graduated here from having to use a uh, pistol now I do have another squad with me here so we've got a total of four one of these guys is volunteers so this is like the lowest of the like guys you can recruit from the mercenary groups so I'm gonna have the three squads kind of push up and then these volunteers are gonna be with me we'll kind of maneuver appropriately gone into the inventory menu gonna attach the rifle gonna make sure I have uh, my magazines here. Honestly, this is something I should have done before I got into battle. I think four is all I'm going to need. All right. Oh, wrong one. Nice. Here we go. Okay. So I've definitely got a lot more firepower. I should also have um, quicker uh, firing here. Just trying to make sure I get this all right. Okay. Fan out a little bit. We'll follow these guys here with the volunteers and myself. Just got the old iron sights as you can see. But I'm hoping the accuracy is a lot better on this too. Uh, what will be interesting to see is what we've got as far as uh, bullet drop. Oh, we've got a squad moving up over here. All right, I'm going to move up here on the line. Got the volunteers. They'll be running up behind me here. Going to lay down. Let's see what I can do about engaging these guys. There's somebody. Oh. Nice. There's my first kill here with a rifle. Seems to be pretty good here. Move up here a little more. See if I can get a better shot on these guys. Still worried about what's going to happen here on my right. Watch. We see some squad kind of like barrel down or something. Come on. This guy's just popped up. There's another guy down. I'm loving the rifle. Not going to lie. Uh, one of the things... I mean, they do have some different uh, types of weapons in here, obviously, that you can choose from. Uh, one of the ones I'm kind of excited to maybe try at some point here is the uh, LMG. You, know, you go with like a heavy machine gun because it's got like 50 cal rounds, I think. You'll be able to absolutely annihilate a whole bunch of these guys. Okay, so far off here is where we've got more of these guys. So someone's just popped up now. They're moving a little bit left to right. Nice, we got another squad ready to get upgraded. There's someone up there? I think there was. Oh, there's for sure somebody. Looks like he's dropped. 
stay behind this tree here for a little bit. Okay, we've got some more guys that are coming in here off to the right. So I'm going to use the side of the tree for cover, but I'm not going to be able to do anything. Now this guy wants to just share this tree with me. Another guy down. I mean, as these guys pop up, they should be good for me to take out. Like that guy dropped him. Trying to be smart with how I fire. I mean, I could open up here with uh, some automatic fire on these guys, but I'm just taking these single shots just to make sure. I, I'm not worried about conserving my ammo so much. I just want to make sure, though, that I'm maximizing my efficiency here. Okay, so those guys are moving off to the left. Thing is, is once they get up over the hill, I may be able to engage these guys on the right here. I'm a little bit of a longer range. I'm going to try and push up now. Me and the squad that's following me. Is there anybody off to the left? I don't think so. I think we're still seeing guys off to the right. There's someone. There was someone. Where's that fire coming from? Do I want to really push up, though? There's a total of five guys left. We outnumber them four to one. There really isn't too much of a need here to be aggressive. Oh, nice. They took him out. Down to three. Because the thing is, is I could push up and get this finished. Oh, there they are. Now we're moving up. I see him on the move. We're moving right to left, basically directly in front of me. They're going to be at those trees now. Yep, there's a guy in between the trees. Gone through my first mag. He's prone. All right, he's down. Oh, I just shot that guy in the back, but I think... Fire is not an issue. Gotta go lower. Try and get a little closer too, because this is the last guy. If this last guy drops me, then I've got some bigger problems. Take one hit from him. Two hits. Alright, there we go. Not bad. Out of the 16 guys who came up against, 10 of them were mine. So getting this rifle is a game changer. You know, I'd heard that some people pick up a different weapon, you know, when the enemy drops it or something. I'm honestly glad I got a lot of pistols that I could just go ahead and trade in for this because this makes this so much more fun, having this rifle. So uh, I'm probably going to keep this one for a little bit too. At some point when I have enough money, I'll go ahead and purchase uh, probably an ACOG site for it uh, just to kind of do some more damage at longer ranges. Uh, being able to fire a little bit fire a little bit more accurately on enemy that come up here too i'm also excited to show you here in the next few videos here how this game has changed and everything too since it has been uh some pretty good changes i think for the game too because now we have like a day night cycle uh they even added some uh buildings and stuff like that to the map that you fight on and everything and then uh yeah kind of makes the game a little bit better so there's still stuff for me that I'm gonna go ahead and do uh, just immediately after this but a lot of the stuff I think you've gone ahead and even see me do already uh, I'm just gonna go back here to uh, a nearby city kind of sell off some of this stuff uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and upgrade some of my guys too I uh, remember there was that one squad that uh, had gotten the ability to be upgraded so that's going to be a big part of this too to kind of make these guys progress as i go along so you probably don't want to see all the things that's going to be happening in the city and stuff like that uh between now and the next one so i'll skip it here and then as i said more of this to come later on so make sure you guys like this video if you enjoyed what you saw subscribe to the channel for some more of this uh, i love that this game is early access and we get to see it change here through all these different videos so i definitely want to play more of this um also join our discord let me know what you think about it uh either there or in the comments and then also please consider donating to the patreon to go help me out 
uh, with this channel and help support me since, let's be honest, don't get too much here from YouTube when it comes to compensation for the work that I do. But uh, I do appreciate you guys watching this. I really do. War is hell. You don't have to worry because Warfighters, I've got your six.